How is it going, guys? I'm gonna keep this intro pretty short today. How is it going? How is it going, guys? Today's video is gonna be. How is it going, guys? So today. How is it going, guys? How is it going guys? Today's intro is going to be pretty short because today's video is going to be about photography. I had the chance over this past weekend to attend a photo shoot with my good friends Greg Hill and Tanil Tarasevich and kind of capture a behind the scenes interview with Greg Hill on his ideologies on photography because this is what he does for a living as well as one of his biggest passions. He's done it for a long time now and I wanted to get some insight as to how he responds to photography versus younger generations nowadays. And hopefully some of these tips that he can share with you guys are helpful. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn everything over to Greg Hill. Hi all, uh, Greg Hill here. We're out here, we're gonna do a little mini photo shoot, uh, more fashion-y than anything else. And we're gonna go to various locations and take a bunch of pictures. Um, I've been shooting pictures a long time. This is like what I do for fun as well as for a business and and um, I think we'll just have a, a good time today and take some really great stuff and just go with the flow and make it all happen so keep your eyes open you might see something What really makes this uh, this spot really nice for uh, a location shoot for for people is you got the highlights coming in from above. You got the light bouncing off the walls. It's mixing. It's soft. It doesn't get real harsh as it, as you will be when you're outside in in uh, direct sunlight. So these are the kinds of things you're looking for if you're shooting people. That if you have a soft look, it takes away the a lot of the wrinkles, but if you're not competing with uh, things in the background that are more bright, less bright, and so you need to experiment that bad a little bit and go for it and see what you get. In a cityscape, you, you're walking through places, or in anywhere actually, you find a location, you think, gosh, it looks good, but what about it? Spend a moment, look it over, look at the quality of light, look at the geometric forms that you're following, and then work yourself into that and bring both you and anyone else you're with, or even just those pieces by themselves. Look and watch them, because that will cultivate a real thinking and, and, and saying, gosh, there's something here, let's shoot it. Favorite photo, favorite photos, models. If everybody's interested and everybody's adding to it, it becomes an energy. It, everybody capitalizes on it and you can have a lot of fun with it and get a lot of different kinds of images. If you don't, if you don't have a human, um, I, I love airplanes and I go out to uh, air shows and things like this and I try to do like sculpture pictures of airplanes. And that's, that's very satisfying too because you're working with the shape of the airplane and from one airplane to the next, it changes. And the lighting is changing, so it's a lot of fun that way.
Hi, my name is Tanio, and today I was photographed by Greg Hill. And essentially, this is the first time I've been on a bigger photo shoot, so I had to do a little bit of preparation, the locations, and uh, we chose Ann Arbor for our primary uh, place, and we had three spots in Ann Arbor that we wanted to do, so I wanted three different outfits. So one more dressy, one more schoolish, and one more boho or gypsy-ish. Really just then talking in the car on our way here so that way we could collaborate and sync up our thoughts and, and everything before we, we got on location. So it was really fun. We just finished and I can't wait to see what he comes up with. So thanks everybody. For up and coming photographers, my advice is hmm, be yourself experiment, expect to fail, learn from your failures, move on, move over, move forward. Get into the business side of it because there's definitely business involved here. Understand the things you have to accomplish in your business, relationships, building them in the business sense. But just, you know, be true to yourself and have fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. All right, be good, be fun, be out of trouble. Bye-bye.